Let's look at this example. Uh, first thing we need to do is calculate that uh, gamma value to see whether or not we are uh, we have a valid uh, cross section for our interaction diagram. So what we'll do is calculate uh, the gamma as the uh, the depth minus the 2d prime over h, and so we've got our 20 minus two times two over then the 20, and that comes out, lo and behold, to be exactly 0.80. So we're in luck. So we can use the uh, interaction diagram that's given in the hand uh, handbook, and again, that's on page one point, uh, page 152. So um, uh, next is we need to determine the reinforcement ratio. And again, that's just our area of steel divided by our, uh, our gross area. So the area of the steel then is, well, we've got number nine bars and a number nine bar should be easy to remember for its cross-sectional area because it's one square inch. And so we got 12 of them, so we got 12 square inches. So we can say 12 times the one and then divide through by the cross-sectional area. And uh, that comes out to be 0 0.0375. And it turns out we're in between two of the curves because there'd be one for 0 0.04 and then 0 0.03. So we're close to the 0 0.04, but that we'll just have to interpolate and that, that, that's workable. Okay, next what we wanna do is calculate our case of N value because we're given an axial load that uh, we have to design to. <coughs> Again, that was our uh, axial load divided by the phi our strength of the concrete and our gross area of the concrete. So plugging things in, then we've got the 0.65 for the phi, five KSI, note it goes in in KSI because our load is in kips. And then our area would be the 20 by the 16, and that comes out to be 1.15. Okay, the next step then is, well, what we do is we go into the interaction diagram and uh, let me just draw a small one here. So we have KN, so we go in at uh, the 1.15. What we do is we come across and we'll have our curves and, and, and say that is, uh, that's the, the, the uh, row of